Hi guys, Cody Lopez here with Texaland News, and today we're going to show you how the Essential Phone has been holding up after a year since its release. This is our long term review, so let's not waste any more time, get right into it. This video is brought to you by the YouTube Secrets Membership Program. If you've ever thought about starting your own channel, listen up. The YouTube Secrets Membership Program can show you how to create videos even if you have zero camera experience and reveals how small channels can make big money. Visit the link in the video description to get started. Essential is no ordinary smartphone newcomer. Its founder and CEO, Andy Rubin, helped create Android back in 2003. The phone is both modern and classy. Its squared edges kind of remind some of the old iPhone 4, while the edge-to-edge -edge screen looks and feels like something from the future. It's tough, too. It has a super durable titanium frame that Essential claims doesn't dent, scratch, or even bend. The back is made of ceramic, which keeps it scratch resistant. My unit is black and has absolutely no manufacturer branding for a very clean aesthetic, although it is prone to fingerprint smudges. Also on the back, the device houses a fingerprint scanner, dual camera system, and a unique pair of magnetic connectors for the Essential Phone's modular accessories, like this 360 camera. Around the bottom, there is a USB-C charging port, speaker grill, but no headphone jack. This is definitely a bummer, but not much of a surprise in 2018. You also won't find a micro SD card slot, but I can't forgive this due to the generous 128 gigabytes of onboard storage. Oh, and try your best not to get the essential phone wet because it doesn't offer any water resistance. Aside from a couple of these emissions, the essential PH1 is one of the best designed smartphones, and because of its superb build quality, the device retains its beauty even after all this time. The phone is powered by some top-of-the-line components, including Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 processor and 4GB of RAM. Sure, this is last year's processor, but it definitely doesn't feel like it. The device glides with ease through everyday usage and has no issues with games or other power-hungry applications. A lot of the reason why it continues to be so responsive is because of the software. You see, this is where the essential phone truly shines. Android enthusiasts will be thrilled to see that this phone is running the stock version of Android. But honestly, when this phone first launched, the software was a bit of a mess. It had a lot of latency issues, and it just did not feel like a phone with the specs it has. But over time, the company has done a lot, and I mean a lot, to resolve these issues with software updates. It has even been getting consistently monthly security updates, generally as fast as Google devices. Not many manufacturers can say that about their devices. What's even more impressive is the fact that the Essential Phone received the latest version of its software, Android Pie, on the same day of its release, something that has never happened in the history of Android. And with Android 9.0 Pie, the Essential Phone feels even more polished, although I will admit it did take some time getting used to the new navigation gestures. There's nothing like stock Android. Your phone's performance is certainly boosted by running an unmodified version of the OS. It makes you think. If a smartphone company could achieve this on their first device, other manufacturers shouldn't have much of an excuse, right? Samsung and LG should seriously take note. Now when I first used the Essential Phone, I wouldn't say that I was overly impressed with the battery life, although after a year of updates, I can definitely say that it has gotten better. Thanks in part to its new adaptive battery feature from Android Pie, I can get a little over a day with its relatively small 3040 mAh battery. You see, Adaptive Battery works to prioritize battery power only for the applications and services you use the most. And although the phone lacks wireless charging, it does feature fast charging over USB-C if you need to top up really quickly. Now let's talk about the camera. Alright, let's be honest, when this phone launched over a year ago, the camera was subpar at best. While the dual camera hardware itself is good, the software turned the photos produced into a hot mess. Some users went as far as using third-party camera apps to obtain better pictures. Like the latency issues, Essential put in a lot of work to improve the camera experience. It received many updates over the last year, and while it isn't Google Pixel or Galaxy S9 territory, the picture quality has gotten much better. Definitely way more acceptable than when it was. And that's the story of the Essential PH1. 
It's the story of a newcomer continuously learning from their mistakes and improving themselves over time. And speaking of improving over time, that leads us to the price. Now at launch, this phone was priced at $700. Certainly a tough pill to swallow compared to its competition. Then it dropped to $500. Still a little hard on the wallet, but around Black Friday, it was reduced to $400 and made the phone much easier to recommend. Today, the phone has been seen listed around $300 and sometimes for as low as $224. I'll be sure to leave a link in the video description with the most updated price. But overall, you can't go wrong with the Essential Phone at these prices. It's super easy to recommend an unlocked phone with amazing build quality running stock Android at that kind of price, even if it's a year old. For more smartphone coverage, visit our website at techcellentnews.com. Follow our social media for excellent technology news daily. And be sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. Once again, I'm Cody Lopez with Techcellent News, and I will see you all in our next video.